me to send out a message to the world, I'm sending a message out right now with Anas. Needs help here. Pray for help every day. Oh, it's been man, 26 years. 26 years he's been in this terrible situation, fighting, just fighting to prove his innocence. And we just hope that people pay attention. Um, we hope that people will look carefully at his case. And we certainly hope that one day Alan's home. So the night that it happened, like I said, me and my friends, we went to fix my scooter. We heard some shots. We took off run right Antonio's. Didn't really think much of it. We fixed my scooter. I went home. Uh, come to find out a car ran into a house. They asked me what happened. I gave the police, you know, my information. Took told them where I was at. But to this day, I really don't know what happened. Like I said, it wasn't like I was there. But I thought I was helping the police, but apparently I wasn't. They ended up wrongfully convicting me because of the help I gave. At trial, there really was three pieces of evidence that convicted him: the testimony of his friend Antonio Johnson, the testimony of his friend Shante Hunt and uh, the results of a gunshot residue test. In the years following his conviction, his two friends have recanted. Detective Engel, uh, Dayton Police Department Homicide Squad, alongside of me here is uh, Antonio Johnson. He was, he was intimidated and forced to say things that, you know, that, that didn't happen. So it very much appeared to me as um, the rehearsed confession statement and it, uh, was obvious to me that it was um, there was much that happened before that before the camera was turned on. Um, at one point, Antonio says something like, "Ooh, I, I forgot that." Like he had a script in his mind that he was supposed to be following. Um, this guy had pulled up. Allen's right behind us. Yeah. Uh, I mean, before you left thing. Allen's house, you drank a pop. Uh, we right. drank the pop when we. Had but they were both told if you don't say exactly what we told you and pin this on Raymond, we're going to pin it on you. And that was the one thing that both of them said when they gave their recanted statements. They hoped that he would forgive them because they were scared and they didn't want to go to jail. Their testimony and their affidavits ring true as to, you know, this is a type, these are the type of tactics that were quite common. It matches a pattern of what we've seen and how and what we've been trained in. The results of a gunshot residue test where an analyst said that two elements that are commonly found in gunshot residue were found on Allen's hand. That test in and of itself is totally useless. Um, it's you know not even used these days because it had so many issues and so many you know false positives right there. There are other materials that contain those same elements. So for example, things like fireworks or brake pads will have those same elements. And if you've had contact with those things, there's the risk that on an AA test, you could test positive for gunshot residue. He worked on a motorized scooter the night of this incident. And so he had contact with brake pads. The elements were found on, on Alan's non-dominant hand, which would suggest either that there was a brake pad or that it was transferred in the back of a cruiser or in, a, in an interrogation room. People who shoot guns end up in the back of a cruiser or in an interrogation room. And then these heavy elements will transfer onto the seat, onto the table, and they'll stay there. What's even more crazy is I'm sitting here because the people who were supposed to help me waited too long to hold me back with proof of my innocence because I missed the filing deadline. So that's been the big hurdle to jump, and we haven't been able to jump it. There's a rule in Ohio called Criminal Rule 33 um, that allows a motion for a new trial to be filed on the basis of newly discovered evidence. By the time Alan reached um, our office, it had been a number of years, and the trial court um, and then the Court of Appeals found that that delay when Alan was unrepresented was not a reasonable delay for getting back into court. For an unrepresented, uncounseled person to get back into court on a Rule 33 motion um, is almost insurmountably high. And Alan didn't meet that despite trying very hard and very diligently. Yeah, 
far as what it's been like mostly it's, it's been horrible this has literally been a nightmare it's been a long nightmare that has not hasn't allowed us to wake up he's still in jail life like I say is continuing out there I'm craving it I want to be a part of it but I'm not going to lie like this conviction this wrongful conviction consumes me there are so many easier paths you could have taken to try to go home um, there are so many times he could have stopped fighting and he still has such humanity and keeps on persevering through totally inhumane circumstances. He might be in prison, but he is still an active part of our family. And he's part of a family that misses him. And he has a mother that will do anything within my power to keep him safe. And that's the biggest part. See life outside of here. You can envision it. Like I cannot know what I want to do. And I'm preparing for it, you know. Well, Alan was always in a class for something. He took electrician class. He took a tutoring class. He finished both of them. He got his GED. He did everything that they would allow him to do, he did. And if you'd have asked me at any point during his prison time, are you going to be there when he walks out? Unless they bury me, yes. I want to be there when he walks out. What I need a lot of also is love, passion. People out there, like I say, read my story. No, this could be you. This could be you, like sitting here, like I say, with something you didn't do. This is not just my son. It's a lot of people's sons that don't have the wherewithal or even the desire to stick by him through thick and thin. I'm not going to be quiet. There's a kid. And we have, like, a mom and a wife. My brothers don't know me. Like, my life is literally a fight. It's wrong. It's wrong. I mean, I'm just like, I do want to have proof of it. Why am I still here? This doesn't even make any sense. And I see people still screaming and about Black Lives Matter. So life matters too. It matters a lot. I don't have one, but it matters. 